Hi guys, this is Matt. Welcome back to the channel. This week we are reviewing the Ping i59 iron. So this has replaced the Ping i blade. Uh, I actually had a set of those which were really good. Uh, but this initially, on the looks of it, looks like a good upgrade. Very sort of clean look to the head. Um, nice sort of polished finish. Uh, obviously a forged head. Um, and looking down at it here, I can definitely see a nice sort of thin top line. Um, so this appears to be sort of like the, I guess the players club now for, for Ping. Uh, they do have the blueprints, but they're not overly popular. Um, so quite keen just to test this today, see how it performs. I did do a, a review on the i525, so quite eager to sort of see the difference between the two really. Um, looking at the lofts, this is a 34 degree, um, slightly weaker, more traditional lofts. Um, there are the option of the retro set for any of you guys out there that prefer even weaker lofts, so 36, and then there's the power spec at, at 32. So this is 34, uh, so very standard, uh, and we're using the Project X LS uh, 6.0 shaft. So, you know, as far as shafts goes, very, very good shafts that, that come as standard. So, um, yeah, it looks, looks good on the, on the face of it. So let's, let's hit a few shots, let's see how it performs, let's see how it feels. Uh, quite keen to see some of the numbers. Felt really solid there off the face. Um, yeah, happy with that. Uh, this is obviously, this is a black uh, colour code. I, I'm usually orange, slightly flatter. Um, but yeah, Ping obviously have the great system of, uh, of, of the colour coding to get the correct lie angle. Again, really solid off the face there. Um, seeing some in very consistent distances so far. Uh, spin rate looks really good, about 6,000, which is perfect really. We find the sort of, I guess the cavity back clubs, the, I guess the G425 in ping, spins quite often lower, mainly due to, to stronger lofts, uh, but obviously hotter off the face. This is, this is for the guys out there that are looking for distance control, not necessarily distance. Okay, a little bit off the bottom, um, but interestingly enough, not really dropped off in carry, so there is a level of forgiveness. Um, Ping are using this Alumi core technology, uh, which is essentially 30 grams of weight has re been redistributed to the toe and the tip weights. So although, you know, it, it is a, obviously a, a good looking iron, th there is that level of forgiveness as well. So. Anyone out there, I would imagine probably 12 handicap and below could hit this. So as long as your ball striking is okay, looking at it, there is a, uh, a good level of, of forgiveness. Again, just didn't quite get that, you know, right off the bottom groove. Um, but again, you'd live with it, you know, it's, it's probably front edge of the green, um, which, which we would take. Yeah, better one. Uh, Ping are also, as they did with the, the i525, they're using these Micromax grooves, which is essentially the grooves are much tighter, uh, which gets about an extra four extra grooves, um, which they're saying it, it does prevent those flyers. So you're not gonna get those jumpy shots, if you like, um, along with this sort of hydropill finish that they're talking about again, uh, which prevents any sort of water getting on the face. So you're going to see a lot of consistency here. Um, so again, you know, you, got, you guys out there that are looking for distance control, um, this appears to be ticking all the boxes so far. Good solid strike there, probably the best one. Yeah, so we can see the distance jump up a bit there, but obviously struck that very well. As I said, there are these different loft options, but this 34 seems to be actually getting the distance. Again, another another solid strike there. So some good good forgiveness and you know some good dispersion as well. Be interested to look at it at the end, uh, but it appears to be you know fairly consistent. This, for me, is ticking a lot of the boxes, I must admit, you know, it's, 
it feels great, looks great, uh, the overall balance of the club feels great. Um, one other thing Ping are saying is that it's a every club is 100% uh, inspected uh, at the sort of manufacturing process. So in terms of the, the sort of shaping, uh, obviously the loss, the overall style and everything is 100% inspected. So as a consumer, you know that when you're buying these clubs, you can, you can be, you know, I guess peace of mind more than anything, you can be uh, sure that every club is exactly how it should be. Yeah, just lovely to hit, you know. I'd probably say one of the best irons I've hit so far this year uh, in terms of overall performance, overall feel. Let's just take a look at initially the dispersion there. So, you know, really encouraging. You know, I think there was one one real bad one there. I think shot number, I think the shot number, well, shot number six on here. So 152 carry. But everything else there is, is pretty good. You know, you'd think on a standard green, uh, most of those will be on the green and fairly close. Um, and again, I guess the biggest thing with this type of club, the difference between longest and shortest isn't isn't that bad. You know, not not too much of a drop off for the bad bad hits, and equally the good ones not jumping too much. So my club speed today averaging about 87. Uh, ball speed is, is good, you know, for this type of club. We've had some up at 121 there, which is pretty quick for, you know, for a forged face. Um, so, you know, speed is, is very good. Um, spin, again, you know, spin in at about sort of 6,000, which is absolutely perfect, exactly what we're looking for, um, with a, an average carry of 165. Um, and side, again, side only 18 feet right, so, you know, very accurate um, and, and, you know, combining distance and accuracy seems to be ticking the boxes. Um, so on the face of it, you know, we've only hit, what, sort of 10 shots or so today. Um, but aesthetics wise, I think it looks fantastic. You know, very sort of clean looking, um, you know, ping of, you know, they've got a few different models out there. Um, but, you know, if I'm comparing this to the i525, um, Quite similar, but obviously just a little bit smaller, slightly better feel, not as fast off the face, um, but you know, obviously a bit more forgiving than those blueprints that, that not many carry, I guess, apart from the tour players. Um, so would highly recommend, you know, we are seeing some brands, well, a lot of brands out there at the moment, bringing out this kind of iron that's, that's forged and a little bit of forgiveness as well. So I would definitely consider the i59. Um, as always guys, if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Post any comments down below and look forward to seeing you again very soon.